Cancer. This is your weekly reading from March the 28th to April 4th. I hope you're having a good week this week. Um, just took a little break last week to, you know, recharge. Um, so I appreciate um, you coming back for the love and support. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, and share. If it doesn't, then uh, maybe you're not in this energy this week and check your moon and rising sign. All right, so <clears throat> we have the devil energy here reversed, which has kind of been a really big thread um, this week, I think, in my readings. I've done the water and I have done um, <clears throat> air signs today. So it's been a kind of common thread here. Um, when the devil comes up reversed, it means releasing the things that bind us. Um, could be anything, could be um, toxic um, thoughts, could be toxic patterns, uh, substance abuse, uh, attachment issues, anything that really keeps us stuck and from keeps us um, blossoming and progressing forward. Um, it could also represent kind of a releasing fear here. Um, have this, I have the Eight of Swords here, which is kind of this energy of um, mental uh, blocking, where we're kind of blocking our ourselves here. We're blocking our own um, mental capacity to kind of bring good things into our life. We're letting fear kind of take over to blind us here, to um, stop us from going anywhere, right? To for stop us to moving forward, because there is this new adventure for you here. There's this, this kind of um, fresh start this, um, with the Ace of Wands reversed. It kind of feels like when it, this energy of this kind of, this new um, beginning that we want here, I'm just kind of getting this fear in. I'm not getting this kind of passion of, um, this passion taking over, this like excitement for something um, new to come in or for having a fresh start or opportunities to arise. I'm getting this fear from it, this, um, again, these, these mental blocks here. I think that's what we're trying to kind of release this week. We're kind of releasing the old patterns and the old thoughts um, that are kind of keeping us stuck mentally and allowing us to have um, a fresh start and exciting kind of um, new kind of creative beginning here. Yeah, like I said, we're kind of just releasing um, our grip a little bit this week. I'm releasing kind of the energy here. Um, like releasing kind of how life is going to kind of, kind of turn out like you'd never know what next day is going to bring here cancers and i kind of feel like especially with this week the fear is kind of going to be a little bit overwhelming but you have to just kind of um i know it's a hard thing to say to do um but you just kind of got to understand and clock it as fear and clock it that um this is just you kind of going through an experience and, and kind of releasing that instead of letting it hold so much um merit in your life is what I'm trying to say here. What else are the answers here? Oh, it's here for cancers here. There might be someone here that you were hoping for a romantic connection from, um, someone that you were kind of hoping would turn into a relationship, but it kind of seems like um, that also might be something that you might be letting go of this week, um, of waiting for this person to kind of come in and give you a love offer here, but it looks like they're kind of um, not stepping forward. And it kind of seems like this has been a conflict that you've kind of been dealing with maybe for a little bit here with the um, Five of Wands reversed. Maybe this is someone that you were fighting with in the past, um, but it's kind of just, I just kind of get this energy that you're feeling like it's not kind of worth it anymore. You're not kind of worth putting up um, the fight for this kind of connection or the fight for this um, Knight of, or the Knight of Cups to come forward. Maybe that is that devil energy here. Um, that, that thing that's kind of keeping you stuck is you're kind of tying yourself to this um, old relationship that didn't come through, um, that didn't work out, and it's been causing a lot of mental blocks for you here. So you're kind of letting it go this week, and you're kind of um, trying to let go of all this um, anxiety and fear that's going, to, going on inside your head right now, um, and kind of releasing all that and getting rid of it, clearing it out. 
Wait for cancers. Oh, it's for cancers this week. It's definitely someone from the past. It's definitely this, there's definitely this past energy here with the Six of Cups. Whoever this person is, whoever this Knight of Cups that didn't come through here, um, it's definitely has caused um, a lot of mental strain for you here. Of, um, keeping you trapped. Feeling like, I just kind of want another card on this Eight of Swords here. A lot of fear there's just so much with the strength reversed here there's just so much kind of fear um that is going on here and i think it has to do kind of with this connection that didn't come through maybe you're having a hard time um with relationships with having love offers come in maybe you still are physically um energetically attached to someone from your past as well because i get this kind of um toxic energy here this kind of attachment energy here with the devil card and with this person from the past um with it reversed i do think you are letting it go um, um, but I still think it takes over your mind a lot and the fear of um, of maybe this person either not coming back to you or the fear that um, they've kind of given up the fight, um, given up the battle for, for your love here or for the relationship um, and kind of move past it. And I think it's just kind of maybe you just gotta, re gotta release that energy and release... Because, because now I think before we were kind of so focused on this, maybe this person from the past, we were so focused on this relationship kind of working out and fearing um, whether or not it's going to work out or not that we kind of missed a few opportunities. Um, but now I think we're seeing what the universe is kind of bringing us forward and maybe it's something bringing us uh, forward, something that's better for us and more opportunities. Because when we get so stuck again on this with the Four Pentacles, see he's kind of so stuck on these uh, the four pentacles, four cups. And like he's so stuck on these cups that are kind of just standing there. He's not seeing the offers that are kind of coming in here. I kind of does feel like this is the person too that um, was happening with you where you were so still energetically drawn um, to this person that you just were not seeing the new offers that came through. But now again, when we're releasing that, when we're kind of working through our fears here and our mental blocks and kind of releasing all this old kind of attachment energy, we're starting to see the offers that are going to come in here. We're starting to see um, maybe there's a kind of a different option. Ooh, they went crazy. I have the Queen of Pentacles here reversed. So maybe you're dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Aries, Virgo, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I don't know. As you can tell, you're my last video of the day. Um, <clears throat> some greedy energy with the uh, Queen of Pentacles here. Um, so maybe you feel like this person um, were greedy with themselves, their time, um, your money. It kind of seems like you're kind of working really hard here and you're kind of pushing forward with the Ten of Wands here. Um, you're moving close to, it's just kind of, everything's kind of almost felt like an up, uphill battle almost in the last little while. Maybe especially if this is the person, if this is, is the connection here, uh, you kind of feel like they've been greedy towards you, that you've been kind of um, having to work so hard um, maybe if it's working so hard at this connection or maybe even actually just like doing a lot of um, kind of work and someone has kind of just been a bit greedy here and I get just kind of this like gold digger energy so maybe this is a person from the past that you're releasing as well maybe you feel like they kind of took advantage of you that way um, took advantage of your money um, maybe made you kind of work so hard that they could have kind of like a leisurely life here um, or made you feel like you weren't working hard enough, um, that you weren't pushing forward enough. Uh, so that could be that energy as well here too. They, they kind of pushed you in a way where it's kind of like, um, I don't know, I'm just getting this energy cancer of um, them making you work harder instead of working harder for themselves in a way. They like put a lot of strain and burden almost on you. It's interesting, it's interesting. Yeah, this breakup, this pain from this person. Even though this person was greedy um, of your value and your energy. All the cards are going wild today. There is this three of um, swords here. There is, is this little bit of pain cancer um, that's going on, this heartbreak from this person um, that still kind of exists within us. Oh, 
else you got for cancers this week? It seems like you're in the transition uh, period of releasing this. So again, don't stress out if that pain is still there or you're feeling that kind of heartbreak there or you're feeling that loss. Um, I do feel like better things are on the way for you there. Uh, so don't stress out about that. Okay. What else can I expect for cancers kind of in this situation after we're kind of releasing from this person or releasing from this connection? Cancers, please. Cancers, please. Okay, I get this energy of you also feeling like things kind of, we got the Wheel of Fortune reversed and we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed, our relationships and things like that. Um, never are kind of going in your, or never um, going well for you, or they kind of always have a bad downturn. Um, and we have the Page of Cups here as well. So someone might be coming in again to give you this kind of emotional or this love offer, but I kind of have this feeling, Cancer, that it's kind of your mental blocks getting in your way. It's kind of your mental blocks, um, how we feel about ourselves and what we kind of want from other people here that's kind of blocking from these relationships coming in um really kind of start standing up for kind of what we deserve um and start ridding ourselves of some of this past energy of this past fear that has kind of locked us in from really having um i don't know really moving forward in a way i don't it's a, it's a, it's an interesting read it's kind of uh, it just kind of feel there's that that whatever these kind of mental blocks are that are happening for you are stopping you from kind of moving forward um i just want to ask kind of what the way is for for cancers here towards this page of cups towards this kind of happy kind of relationship coming in you got to start healing yourselves with the queen of cups here you got to start you got to start um, dealing with your emotions and you got to start becoming into an emotionally stable place. And once we ground ourselves and once we get to this uh, Queen of Cups energy, when we start to nurture our emotions, nurture our feelings, um, give value to ourselves and our um, ourselves and our our feelings and, and stick up for ourselves here, I think that's when this kind of relationship and stuff will come through here. And right now I feel like you're just kind of working through letting go of all that, letting go of all the past pain, letting go of the um, mental fog here and all the things that kind of didn't work out from your past and really starting kind of afresh and starting anew here. I'm gonna grab some oracle cards as well. For cancers, please. For cancers, please. Ooh, a lot of Aries energy in your read here. A fiery climax approaches. So watch out. There might be a situation where. Um, things get a little bit heated or um, a lot of things come to the surface here. So just watch for that. But you also have it's time to take action. Um, Cancers, I don't know why you have so much kind of Aries energy kind of going on here. I mean, it is Aries season um, now. So you might be kind of feeling that. Uh, maybe you're feeling like you need to take advantage of that Aries um, energy and kind of push forward that way. Um, but I just want to say here, kind of do this healing before things kind of um, destruct a little bit here. Because you also have two chakras um, here. We have the third chakra, which is... <clears throat> sorry, uh, we have our third chakra and then we also have our fifth chakra here reversed, which means kind of we're not saying something. We're not using our voice here. And with the Archangel Camille... Um, we have to be really standing in our own power and um, in our own beliefs in ourselves. And I think that's like the third energy chakra of what we really want to do this week of start standing in our own power um, and really seeing like the value in ourselves. I'll read it out to you here. Powerful Archangel Camille is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light in our solar plexus, which is located 
on your third chakra in the center of your life force energy. This issue here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. This card appears upright and an increase in increased enthusiasm in the present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move forward for the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance. Your soul is calling you to direct your energy is focused purpose purposeful manner. This angel of power is within you now, so go for it. And I think that's the energy you're saying where it's saying taking action towards it, taking action on ourselves, um, taking action on our own emotions and really bettering our lives for ourselves in this energy. Um because it seems like we're having some energy we have we're having some problem with our third chakra here. We're we're having some problems speaking um our truth, speaking um what we really want into existence here. Um standing up for ourselves. So I gotta say cancer is stand up for yourself here. It looks like you're in a good time of releasing um some of this past pain and things are gonna be brighter in the future. So don't stress out about that. Alright cancer I hope this helped this week.